Hello, welcome to Ashes, and I'm Crypt here, and welcome back to my channel. Now, for today's video, I have yet another Chucky video for you guys, but this time, I'll be talking about why the Child's Play franchise is the best horror franchise. Yes, I like Chucky a lot more than Freddy and Jason and Michael Myers. He is my all-time favorite. So with that said, let me explain why. Something important to note about this franchise is it's one of the only horror franchises that haven't been rebooted. That is right, no remakes at all, and I think, you know, that's good. I mean, yes, there's Curse that brought the whole series back to its roots, but that's not a remake. That's a revival, and it was a pretty good one at that. And I just want to express how great it is that Child's Play haven't been rebooted, which there's nothing wrong with the Child's Play reboots. I know Dom and Cine was wanting to do one, but I think he's kind of retracted that idea a little bit but I'm glad that Chucky hasn't been rebooted because I think it's nice that you know the whole franchise is fresh not trying to retell the story which there's nothing wrong with reboots I think some reboots are pretty good for example the Dawn of the Dead reboots but a lot of reboots flop too so I'm glad that Child Play didn't get this treatment. What do you think of killer dolls or evil dolls in horror films? Chucky's the first one you think of. Now there is also Annabelle, but I'm gonna be real with you guys. Annabelle isn't shit. She is not a scary doll. And honestly, if I'm being real with you guys, Billy from Dead Silence is way scarier than Annabelle. Annabelle just doesn't do it for me. But when talking about popular killer dolls or evil dolls in horror films, Chucky's up there. He's totally up at the top. Everyone knows who Chucky is. Everyone. Whether you've seen the films or not, everyone knows who this killer doll is. Everyone knows the Chuckster. With the Child's Play franchise, you get great protagonists and likable characters like Andy Barkley and Kyle. The Child's Play franchise isn't like Friday the 13th or Michael Myers where they're just scratching up really stupid teens that like to get drunk and party and be very obnoxious and loud. No, that's not, those are not the kind of protagonists that we get with this franchise. We get really great, likable protagonists that a lot of people just really love. We do have a few protagonists that we don't care for, but most of them, for the most part, we love the protagonists from the Child's Play franchise. Something that really makes these movies so great is Brad Dorf in... Jennifer Tilly's performance in these movies. Brad Dorff, if you don't already know, which I'm pretty sure you do know if you are a fan of my channel and like my content, Brad Dorff is the voice of Chucky, and he does a pretty damn good job at playing Chucky. He... I can't really see anyone else playing Chucky. He is literally the best you'll get with Chucky, and you could tell that... He's really passionate about this franchise. He puts us all into playing this character. He loves playing Chucky. And I think overall he's just a great actor. I really like him and all the stuff he is in. But as Chucky, he, he's perfect. He is just perfect. But the other person that makes the franchise, the other person that plays a really good role, is Jennifer Tilly, who plays Tiffany Valentine. She's pretty great. I, I think she's a really good actress overall. And her performance is just as good as Brad Dourif's. And to a lot of fans, she is a fan favorite. And it would be criminal not to give her credit for her acting skills as well. Now, don't get me wrong. I like all the other people who play roles in these franchises. But these two are literally like... They, they steal the show. 
these two just steal the show overall. And honestly, the Child's Play franchise wouldn't be what it is today without these two. Everyone involved in these films were active and loved their fans. Now don't get me wrong, there are people who are like involved with the Friday the 13th movies and the Halloween movies that totally love their fans. But these people are really active, they're like almost busy with communicating with their fans. Because you see, I got Don Mancini who follows me on Twitter, Jennifer Tilly has retweeted what I've posted. That I tagged her in and even responded to me. The girl who plays Kyle has even liked some of my comments to her. So I leave like comments on some of her pictures on Instagram. Ed Gale, who like he plays the guy that like he wears like the Chucky mask and some like in some of the scenes, he follows me on Instagram. And you see the people involved in these movies do really care and they try to connect with as many of us as possible and I think that's very important when having such a big franchise you know as big as child's play both the cinematography and the animatronic work are both great now something important to note about this franchise is they always use animatronics and you know, some filmmakers that are in the film industry might just be like, eh, you know, we'll just use CGI, you know. But no, Dummy C has always went with using animatronics and it's always worked for them in the long run. And it looks better, in my opinion, that they use, like, actual animatronics because it looks more realistic. And along with some of the great filmmaking, I think... I think it comes along pretty great when looking at how they film these movies. I think it all comes together really nicely and it makes the movies look really great and it really brings them to life. Something I've always liked about the Child's Play franchise is that they go for a completely new soundtrack for each movie. They're not like the Halloween franchise where they just use the same theme throughout all the franchise for years to come and there's nothing wrong with that but I'm just saying it's nice that the Child's Play franchise keeps it a bit fresh and just overall chooses to go with a soundtrack that sets the tone of the movie for example Bride of Chucky and Child's Play 3 are perfect examples of this. While Child's Play 3 is like military-like, it has like this military setting and they choose that theme and that fra like that soundtrack that goes perfectly with Child's Play 3. We got Bride of Chucky that's more gothic and they go with like a gothic-like soundtrack and it is overall is really it's it's good. It it really works for these movies. Something amazing about these movies is every movie in this franchise is unique, and this is Don Mancini's intention overall. You see, with films like the Halloween franchise or A Nightmare on Elm Street, sometimes there's sequels that are kind of like same old same old and unlike those franchises the child's play franchise tries to you know overall give us something fresh for each movie i'm not saying that the halloween or nightmare on elm street franchise are too much of the same but all I'm saying is, you know, even though there may be a few films in those franchises that are too much of the same, a few of them maybe, the Child's Play franchise tries something new for each film, and I think that's great that they do that. The kind of keep it fresh and to keep the idea of this killer doll interesting and to where it just overall never gets old.
an important fact about this franchise is all the people who have made this series strong have been with the franchise since the beginning, which is very important to note because there's franchises like A Nightmare on Elm Street or Halloween where the people who created the franchise just kind of leave it after a while, just kind of leave it behind and eventually return. But unlike those franchises, Dominic C have been with the franchise since the very beginning he's always been the writer but there have been different directors like for example ronnie Yu directing brad chucky which was also the director of freddy vs jason like i said i think this is very important that all the people who made this series strong have been with it since the beginning because they they tend to make this series even stronger and i think that is just overall really great that even after all these years, they have just never strayed away or given up on the franchise. Something that has always kept me coming back to this franchise is Chucky himself. Him for me is what makes this series overall just really amazing. He has such a great personality and he is an amazing villain. I just enjoy watching him murder people as he cracks one-liners and he also tends to throw middle fingers to people that he hates. And for me, this is a strength to his character because there's characters like Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees who don't have personality at all. I personally go for characters who have personality, like Chucky, Freddy, and Pennywise. There's nothing wrong with Jason or Michael Myers, I just don't like them as much as characters who have personality because the ones who actually have personality are the top villains for me which is why Chucky has always been my all time favorite because he has such a distinct personality and I think it overall makes him as a character strong as well as the overall franchise. I hope you guys enjoyed my rambling for 12 minutes. If you guys enjoyed be sure to like, subscribe, join the Sinister Positive family and become a slasher and share as sharing really helps the channel especially share this video why do you love this franchise let me know down in the comments below i'm out of here and i'll see you on next video thank you for watching peace so good, she's like you needing me my friend Brittany. i keep my identity low you can call me dread face but you better stay away from me bro joshua killer baits Psychopath, it'll fucking stab you in the eye. Next thing you know, next thing you know, next thing you know, he'll leave you to run.